All right, so this is how to train your dragon to fly. And if you said, you know, that a lot of these pet trainers would not be able to handle sport-bred dogs, I'd say, that sounds believable. You know, if you said any of these, you know, little pet smart trainers or whatever can get this Doberman, I wouldn't think they could. It's you, You've got to know what you're doing when you're handling sport-bred dogs. I don't know what else to tell people. You know, any... Malinois, any somebody calls me with a Malinois, I assume it's hinky until proven otherwise, which might be never. You know, it's they're they're hinky, you know, Dobermans are hinky, and that Layla German, I need to do a whole series on that Layla, that German Layla, the hinky German Shepherd, you know, but you're not getting in there. I had this one guy call one time. And he had been a cop or something. He was a dog trainer. Went to these people's house. The dog was not um, friendly with strangers. This guy sits in front of the crate at these people's house for an hour making friends with this thing. Can you imagine what a fool? Then takes it outside. It sees another dog and wants nothing to do with it. Oh, really? Oh, Jesus. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unforeseeable. That's the new. Anyway, but what I've got, I've just got Greg's cold collar. You know, and it is. It, it one day we'll look back and it says baffling. You could present these to these people, and all they could say was, "What are the quadrants? <laughs> where's your work?" And uh, this is what my response to these people now is: "Where is your work?" And I'll tell you where I think you might be able to apply it to your existing methodology, if there is one. I'll leave out the "if there is one" part, but that's the truth. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Chelsea's like, "Who cares? Who cares? Get on with the entertainment." So I don't even have to say anything. I'm this is the de facto toy, since there's nothing out here. So this is just Greg's cold collar. And, you know, you have to have a nip on a dog like this. He said, how soon did he figure out he was faster? The first time he took off running. So a dog like this really should be equipment neutral. And, and I, most, it's been my experience that most of these house pets, Briggy, Mac, Luna, all, they're not equipment neutral at all. And if you said, what's that? It's a causation of the, the causation is the handler. And I understand that people are just not keeping the collar on and putting them on when it's time to go out for a walk. If you said, how many times you have to do that? Oh, maybe two days in a row. Two days in a row, these dogs, I'm kind of jockeying, putting it on and off. So that was my sit. I've, I've never told any of these dogs to sit. I don't train them to sit. Oh, hi, Mandy. It, using a platform results in a remote sit, though. So this dog has got a pretty augmented healing, too. And he'll go four off the floor. If you said, well, what do you deem pretty animated? Well, when all four feet are coming off the ground, that tends... To me, that lay, you know, lends towards the animation. And if you said why, because I can show you videos of this dog in free agency going four off the ground. That video, uh, oh, I'll go find it. I'll post it later. Labrador versus Doberman. But that's his free agency state. All four feet come off the ground. Oh, yeah. I'm not telling him to sit there. He's just doing that. No, he's just doing it. But he's at the ready. He's at the ready. Let me see if I can. <laughs> oh, he's up to, but I can micro move him around. If you said you can't micro move him, oh, I sure can. He even go, I really never even taught him to go this way. If you're gonna do it this way, step with this foot over first. And this one, you gotta step with that one. That's the difference. I don't know if any of you are working on the side pass, but I never really even trained this dog to side pass, but that is the rule I think you need to follow if you're going to side pass. You, they better understand your feet. That's how you're doing it. That, this, this is your feet. If you're going this way, yellow sock. <laughs> the yellow sock. And if you're going this way, I do it as kind of making the foot a little... Let me see if he'll do it. Yeah, 
he wants to get up. He wants to go big off of there. <laughs> if you said that wasn't big, it was huge. It was huge. All right, hang on. Let me see. Ah. Oh, he's awful. All right, watch. The yellow sock. Good. The orange sock. So I'm yellow sock. So I did use back right there. Uh, oh yeah, you see? Oh, hi, Linnea. Yes, you're going to need to wear different colored socks now. <laughs> Linnea's like, I don't trade in my socks. I know, but you've got to get the whole vibe going. <laughs> so that's what I, I can make him go big and I can make him go small. And that's a lot of detail. I mean, you're, you're not all necessarily going to be doing that. All right, hang on. Let me grab my dumbbells real quick. I'm not telling him to sit there. He's just defaulting to sit there. Um, it's actually really nice out. I think it's actually getting ready to be fall. I won't have to, I won't have to uh, go without wearing a hoodie every single day. <laughs> They'll look back and say, God, the warning signs and symptoms all day long with this chick. Um, and these are not. He's, he, if you said what's, his most aggressive object, on is, honestly, is that bumper thing. Uh, but if you said, well, I need a tip to help get the dog steady, not that anybody says that to me, but I'm just going to give you a little trick. This is what you can do because this dog has a trained retreat. So the way I do it, if they've got one in their mouth, you've got a better chance of them being steady than if the things are just sitting there and they don't have one. You gotta be careful though. You gotta be careful. He got, he got a grip on it. I'm still, I'm going this way. So, Chelsea, what I've done with this dog is I've reduced fetch down to, <laughs> that's how much I shortened it. <laughs> that means fetch. So it started out as fet or maverick fetch. Now it's, <laughs> but you, you know, if you said, again, if the dog is at the ready, it's, it's going to need the least. It's not going to need a lot of cue. But if you said, what's a trained retrieve, but the difference between a trained and a shake, fetch that right there. You could get one, and I'm going to try to work on it and figure out the fastest way to get, to get going with that. But, and you can see, look at him. He's, he's clenching his jaws on that thing. Oh, all he needs to do is see a squirrel, and then he starts, oh, look, look, oh, he'll start chomping it more. All right, so I've reduced it down to the least possible signal, but the pager is the trigger point. That's where that velo sudden velocity is coming from, whether that's a fast chemical injection. I couldn't exactly tell you. If you remember that, Chelsea, I had that one stuffed squirrel that looked really realistic. Oh, there was a picture of Shoe Bottom with it in her mouth. And then, like, two months later, there was, she actually had a real one. That'd be perfect for Freak, though. 
You know, but that's, I'm only utilizing what he's already got. If he, if he put 110, 10% into chasing these squirrels and put about 40% into working with the handler, that wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good, you know. And if you said, I've seen a lot of higher return to heels on a Doberman. I have it. Oh, Melissa will go find one. I told Melissa go find animated pit bulls because they're very hard to find. So she went on YouTube and found one of my own recall videos. <laughs> I said, you know, that's my video, right? <laughs> I think she did. Y you know, but if, if you start searching fast recalls, well, I'm going to tell you what you're going to find. And it's kind of sad, but, you know, they're not out there. Hi, Kimberly Ann. Oh, you missed Angus and his, oh, his dancing and all of it. Anyway, Nina's got somebody, but I've got to tell you, girl, now I'm just going to be so picky about who gets him because... You know, people, when they get a rescue dog, they need to understand it's about the dog and doing whatever. Not we want one and we want to love it and we want to give him because his success is based on the fact that my actions have been different than everybody else he ever met, you know. I'm very attached to that dog. He's so cute. Anyway, I'll be right back, you guys. But that's how to teach your Doberman to fly. And I am. I'm adding that pager. And that's the beauty of it. I, it, you, it doesn't have to be, there's a margin for error that you're not going to get with anything else. And it is hard for me to understand. I'm just really beginning to understand, you know, the people will still have success, even if they don't have the exact timing. They're, oh, I'm awful. If you said, what were the precursors? I'm going to tell you what they were. I was going like this with my feet. And this is what you guys have to do if you want to do that. I was going like this <laughs> with my feet. That was the precursor. So he saw that. If you said he wasn't looking at your feet, he, he was. He was. He was looking at everything. So, everybody's like, we don't want a flying Doberman. Oh, you don't know that. Oh, hang on, I can't read. Oh, my glasses got lost. It's absolutely awful. I'm sure I put all of them in the same place. Oh, no, I've, I've got to be Kimberly Ann. I've, I've, this is what happens to me. I just fall in love with these dogs. And then... Well, then they're just living at my house. Then I'm fostering them for 10 years. Then I'm asking the vet, how long do these things live? <laughs> it's awful. Anyway, that's where we're at. So, yeah. He still needs more training. I don't know if you get, we got him sitting now. And we don't call it sit anymore. Uh, we call it boom. I say boom and he puts his little fat little bum down. Oh, he's so cute, girl. Oh, this is what we need to get, girl. Uh, we need to get that place that does the little stuffed animals that look just like your pet. Oh, we need to each have one made for each of us. Everyone who ever loved Angus needs to get this little uh, little stuffed animal Angus thing. That's the only possible way I could consider parting with him. If I had the little stuffed Angus that I could look at every day. and get Oh, get it with a little pink dumbbell in its mouth. Oh, that'll be the cutest thing ever. All right, you guys, listen, I got to put him up. I'll be back with some more episodes. I'm going to go get uh, Parker out right now, Mandy, so hang on.